a big, big blow because of uh, Iyer not being available. I'm not stay at Punjab's position, which is six, seven, eight. Team R4 overseas would have been probably the best in the tournament. The second match is between. Uh, I have to say, everybody's <laughs> favorite team, Punjab versus <laughs> KR. Uh, uh, Pakistan <laughs> has done well. Uh, Hundred thousand, I don't know whatever crores they made, but. Yeah. Let me come to Maz KKR first. Maz, how do you see your team going with the new captain? Well, um, first of all, a big, big blow because of uh, Ayer not being available. But I think with, with the new um, management, like the new coach, and he has done wonders in the Ranji Trophy. And Nitish Rana has also captained Delhi and a few other franchises as well in his past. So it's not like we are getting a captain who doesn't have experience. And even though Ayer is a good player, we didn't have a great, great benefit from him in the last year's IPL. So, I don't see uh, captaincy as a big problem. But we will be missing him as a batsman because when you see the squad now after a year not being there, from the Indian batter's point, we don't have much. We have Ramana Lagurba, Shakibullah Sandal and Das and all the others from international players. But when we look at the Indian contingent, it's just Nitish Rana, Rinku Singh, Venkatesh Ayer and few others who are not that performed well in the IPL in the past. So, big bluff with Ayer not being available, but I feel like the trade auction again was not that great because we didn't have much money. But the trades before we did, Rahmanagar Gurba is a great addition. Recently performed well against Pakistan and the Sharjah. Then again, Litton Das and Shakib Al are playing amazing with Ireland right now. So, I hope we do qualify this time and not stay at Punjab's position, which is 6, 7, 8 since last 7 years. So you've already given it out to Punjab. By saying that we don't stay at that place. And you play the first game in their home ground. But I have to ask you this question, Maz. Yeah. There was an availability of Steven Smith. Uh, I somehow was curious. Uh, right. Even though Steven Smith's strike rate is around 120, you could have got a ready-made captain. But again, the thing is, we have Andrew Russell and Narayan already in for those two slots for overseas. And then we have an opener in Ramana Gulbars or Lijin Das. And we then have Lockie Ferguson and Tim Saudi. So playing another batsman in an overseas slot is not a great possibility for us. So I don't think Steven Smith would have done any much wonders. Okay, so you feel his captainship wouldn't have made a difference uh, uh, even though he was a foreign player for an X or a Y player would have replaced. You feel but, it's a wise choice yeah. to go with uh, Nitish Rana? Yeah, because personally, I feel like a foreign captain is not great because an Indian captain is good because... There are a lot of domestic players and it's easy communication between an Indian captain and a domestic player because of the language barrier. Plus, uh, again, you're not always confirmed about the overseas slot. And with Russell and Narayan and KKR already, it's very difficult to fit in another for sure starter in the overseas slot. So, I don't think... I'll come to you again, Maz, uh, but I have to ask Clinton, uh, Punjab Kings, uh, the four owners they have, mashallah, I wish they had four titles, but uh, nonetheless, uh, Clinton, you need to talk about your team. How do you see your chances this year? Uh, well, Johnny Bestow missing out is a huge, huge setback. I mean, uh, had he be to be in the team, R4 overseas would have been probably the best in the tournament. Would have had Johnny, uh, Sam Curran, Liam Livingston and Kagiso Rabada. But him uh, missing out would again, you know, leave that opening slot vacant. And it would be filled in by either Prabhsimran Singh or uh, probably Sikandar Raza. So, again, our opening slot becomes a kind of a worry. Of course, we've got in Matthew Short, but he's not played enough cricket in India. You know, he, he might have been very good in the BBL, but those who have been good in the BBL have not necessarily performed well in India. So, uh, but again, they picked him. Uh, so, he would probably start off Sikandar Razan plus Liam Livingston isn't there for the first game against KKR. So, KKR being already weakened by their injury uh, baggage, you know, I think Punjab and KKR would be somewhat in the same boat playing their first game. But having said that, we've got our, gotten our death bowling sorted out with uh, Sam Karan, Kagiso Rabada and Arshdeep Singh uh, along with Rahul Chahar and uh, Harpreet Brar along with Livingston bowling. So, I think our bowling and our middle order issues that were there in the previous season have gotten solved to some extent with Sam Curran uh, coming in and Shah Rukh Khan being retained. 
what remains a point of concern is our top three because Shikhar Dhawan uh, would be playing anchor and we don't know as yet who would be opening with him and who would be coming one down. So that remains a place of concern. But having said that, our middle order and our death bowling looks really good. It's just quickly between both of you, Mars and Clinton, who's going to walk away with your first game? Mars, I think we point? have already, uh, we are already ahead because he's already lost best, so he's lost Livingston, top two most rated players in his team. We have lost a year, but like we we have our backup, so it's fine. You want to give it back, Clinton? <laughs> yeah, Nitish Rana also was got himself injured during the practice session, so. Uh, the the least KKR talk scare about don't scare injuries. Him, don't scare injuries. The thing is, is the thing is, <laughs> बड़े बड़े players के साथ ऐसी छोटी-छोटी niggles होती रहती हैं तो. Oh, there, comes the, <laughs> there comes the pathan in. Okay, we'll have to wait and watch. 